Hello everyone. In the previous video, I have completed uh, Coulomb's law, electric field intensity, and charge distribution. It is in the description. You can check it out. In this video, I am going to complete this module by explaining the last topic that is electric flux and electric flux density. The number of lines of force due to a charge equal to magnitude of the charge in coulomb and these field lines are called electric flux electric flux density is electric flux per unit area it is denoted by d vector is equal to xi by a a is nothing but area area is a variable according to the coordinate systems that i will explain in the problem now it is equal to xi divided by 4 pi r square air vector the unit is coulombs per meter square then electric flux is xi is equal to surface integral uh, d dot ds d, where ds is differential surface uh, that is in meter square and uh, xi is electric flux that is in coulomb now now let's consider uh, concentric metal sphere as shown Con concentric um, sphere is nothing but if uh, two sphere has having same center then it will be concentric sphere here r may be different uh, different length uh, here r is equal to a r is equal to b the inner inner surface is plus q and outer surface is uh, minus q here flux density for r a that is uh, inner circle inner sphere that is q divided by 4 pi a square AR vector this is derived from here here I can uh, replace xi by q from the Gauss law this is for inner sphere for outer sphere uh, minus q divided by 4 pi b square AR vector and uh, now consider inner sphere EFT at any point between A and B is given by flex density is equal to Q divided by 4 pi R square AR then uh, electric flux is uh, Q divided by 4 pi epsilon R square AR vector by solving these two equating these two uh, here uh, epsilon is an extra thing so by equating we get uh, density as electric flux density as uh, epsilon into e now we can solve first problem this is the first problem find the electric flux density in in the region due to uniform line uh, charge of uh, 8 nanocoulomb meter lying along z axis in uh, free space take a uh, radius is equal to 3 meters here if in the question it is given as centimeter we have to, co we have to com uh, convert into meters here we need to find flux electric flux density that is uh, d is equal to epsilon e so now first we need to find uh, flux uh, electric flux due to uh, line charge it is a uh, here is a formula and uh, rho l is nothing but line charge density that is given so let's substitute that d is equal to 8 into nano coulomb means 10 to the power minus 9 divided by 2 2 into 3.14 8.854 
into 10 to the power minus 12 and uh, radius is 3 by solving this we get uh, 0 0.048 into 10 to the power minus 3 and uh, this can be write as 47.95 Newton per coulomb then D is equal to epsilon E then epsilon value is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 and E is 47.95 by multiplying this we get the, our final answer that is 0 0.424 nano coulomb meter square this is our final answer so this is the second problem a60 micro coulomb uh, charge is located at origin find the total electric flux passing through uh, the portion of the sphere r is equal to 26 centimeter bounded by 0 theta pi by 2 0 phi pi by 2 so uh, we know the formula we can we need to find electric flux passing through through the uh, portion of the sphere then uh, it becomes uh, substitute the integrals that is 0 to pi by 2 and here also same 0 to pi by 2 then by Gauss law we can write q by 4 pi r square AR then DS is for a spherical, spherical coordinate system it, it is uh, R square sin theta D theta then D phi AR vector now by solving this R square R square get cancelled AR vector AR vector is uh, product of two vector is 1 then uh, q this becomes 1 then uh, q by 4 pi is constant 4 q by 4 pi take it outside then uh, integrate separately pi by 2 uh, that is th theta theta is nothing but sin d theta then 0 to pi by 2 then uh, here is phi that is uh, d by phi then by integrating this uh, integration of uh, sin d sin theta by d theta is uh, minus cos theta then integration of phi is phi only phi 0 to phi by 2 then psi is equal to q substitute the integrals limits so cos pi by 2 plus cos 0 and here pi by 2 minus 0 cos pi by 2 is nothing but 0 uh, then cos 0 is 1 then this becomes 1 and pi by 2 as it is here pi pi get cancelled then our 
आंसर इज क्यू बाई एट क्यू वैल्यू इज सिक्सटी मैक्रो कूलम डिवेड बै एट दैट इज फोर पॉइंट फै मैक्रो कूलम दिस द आंसर फॉर फस्ट पार्ट सो दिस द सैकेंड पार्ट आफ द क्वेश्चन क्लोज सर्फेस डिफाइन बै आर इज ईक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स सेटीमीटर एंड जेड इज ईक्वल टू प्रेसर मैनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स सेटीमीटर फस्ट वी हव टू कन्वर्ट दिस सेटीमीटर इंटू मीटर्स दैट विल बिकम जीरो पॉइंट टू सिक्स मीटर्स नौ जै इज ईक्वल टू डबल इंटिग्रेशन आफ क्यू टू रो ए रो इंटू ए रो एंड दिस फॉर सिलिंड्रिकल कॉर्डिनेट सिसम फॉर दिस वि शुड रईट रो बी फै डिज फॉर सिलिंड्रिकल कॉर्डिनेट सिसम दिस द फार्मुला दिस फॉम गॉस ला then we can substitute here here uh, rho and rho get cancel and these two are the product vectors that is 1 then uh, q q by 2 pi is constant take it outside now integrate separately for the first integration nothing is given here so we can write uh, for फै वी कैन रईट जीरो टू टू फै दिस ओनली फॉर फै एंड फॉर जेड इट इस गिवन एज ट्वेंटी सिक्स दैट इस जीरो पॉइंट टू सिक्स प्लस और मैनस सो मैनस जीरो पॉइंट टू सिक्स प्लस जीरो पॉइंट टू सिक्स जीरो पॉइंट टू सिक्स डी जेड This remains as it is by integrating this to integration of d phi is d phi only. Uh, then uh, substituting integrals we get two uh, pi minus zero. Then integration of uh, z is z and uh, By in, substituting integrals, we get point two six plus zero point two six. Then by solving this, here two uh, pi and two pi get cancel. So q into point five two, and uh, our q value is sixty. Micro coulomb into zero point five two. That is thirty one point two micro coulomb. This is our final answer. This is the end of this module. I have completed the full module in only four videos. Please check it out in the description. Please subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.